Donald Trump just dropped a bomb in the 2024 race. What's going on, guys? This is Rob Smith for Explain America, and Donald Trump has just pledged to end birthright citizenship for all illegal immigrants should he be elected president in 2024. This is a big one, and check out what he had to say. As part of my plan to secure the border on day one, my new term in office, I will sign an executive order making clear to federal agencies that under the correct interpretation of the law, going forward, the future children of illegal aliens will not receive automatic U.S. citizenship. My policy will choke off a major incentive for continued illegal immigration, deter more migrants from coming, and encourage many of the aliens Joe Biden has unlawfully let into our country to go back to their home countries. They must go back. All right, just to put this in a context here, so this is a video that was rolled out, that was part of a video that was rolled out on Trump's Truth Social platform as a part of his Agenda 47 videos that the campaign has been rolling out uh, with all of their policy proposals on different things like uh, the, the border wall and, and all of that stuff. So this is huge, okay? And so I wanna give you a little bit more of the text from this. So he basically says that Joe Biden has launched an illegal foreign invasion of our country, allowing a record number of illegal aliens to storm across our borders. This is what he says in the video. You have to understand that this is factually correct, okay? Over the past two and a half years of the Biden administration, there have been an explosion of crossings at that southern border. And so Trump making this move right now with, with releasing this video, putting it out there and saying that this is going to be one of his policies, what he's doing is he is basically pushing himself to the right of pretty much every other candidate that is running for president on the Republican side. Now, granted, and this is, these are all facts, folks, nobody else that is running for president on the Republican side has gone this strongly um, when it comes to immigration, when it comes to securing the southern border, but also saying that we're going to take a policy that we have in America and he is going to end that policy should he be elected in 2024. Now, this is a big one. And I think that what it really does is it puts a lot of pressure on the other candidates that are running for president in 2024 to really come out and say something about this. So as we all know, Trump has been leading in the polls basically since he announced that he was going to run for president again. Okay, this is not something that has changed at all um, in the past, what is it, six, seven months or so since Trump announced that he's running again. So what he is doing is he is placing himself in a position to where the rest of the people that are running for president on the Republican side are going to have to respond to what some people may call a hardline stance on the illegal immigration issue that we have in this country. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Nikki Haley responds. It's going to be very interesting to see how Ron DeSantis responds now that he is officially in the race. It is going to be interesting to see how Tim Scott responds. But now, Again, Trump has been the front runner for this nomination since the moment he announced. And with this move, what he is doing is he is putting every other Republican that is running for president in 2024 on the defensive. They are going to have to answer to this. They are going to have to say what their policies um, are going to be when it comes to the southern border and also when it comes to the birthright citizenship for illegal aliens that we do have in this country. So it is going to be very interesting to see how the rest of these Republican candidates respond. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to all of our Explain America videos. I'm Rob Smith. I'll see you next time.